Hi, I'm here to advise you on how to take accurate on-site measurements of your steelwork. This quick guide will make the process hassle-free and easy to follow. When measuring one length of beam that sits atop of two separate walls, it's important to take a note of at least 100 mm bearing for the steel. If the span is 2.5 meters long, that means that the entire structure needs to be 2.7 meters long. By far, the most common section used in residential projects are universal columns and universal beams. For more information about those beams, please go to our website where we've got videos explaining the specifications. In this example, we're going to use UB sections. They consist of a top and bottom flange, as well as a web. When giving out dimension between two UB sections, it's important to take note whether the dimension is between the innermost flanges, the outermost flanges, or occasionally it might be a good idea to give us the dimension between the two axes. When the cross section of the joining beam is different to that of the main beams, we need to decide whether we want to flush the structure with the top or the bottom of the flanges. Steel beams are used as lintels above window or door openings. Where the width of the wall is greater than the width of the beam, it might be a good idea to weld the plate to the bottom or to the top of the beam. Usually a 300 mm wide plate would easily accommodate two courses of bricks, leaving a 100 mm gap in between for insulation. A steel plate can be welded so that it flashes with one side of the beam and overhangs on the other. Alternatively, we can weld it to the center of the beam. For more information, do go onto our website, visit us in the office or call our helpful team.